In this video, we're going to emulate the EQ you would find in an actual large format mixing board, and we're going to do it with both the stock Logic 9 EQ and with the Waves Q6 EQ to show a contrast with another interface. We're going to use the example from the class video to represent the console mixing board. The EQ plugins you'll see in a DAW are usually multi-band EQs, meaning they can boost or attenuate frequencies in several bands. On a mixing board channel strip, your choices will be more limited. You're likely to have a low cut or pad button, a low shelf, a low mid and high mid parametric EQs, and a high shelf. You may also have a high cut. Low cut is more commonly known as a high pass, and high cut is usually called low pass. Let's start with the Logic EQ. Notice that it has six bands already active, with low pass and high pass deactivated. To activate or deactivate an area, just click on it. Then you can change the range in Q by clicking below and typing, or by dragging the curve directly. Let's activate the high pass, set it to 75, and change the slope to 18 decibels per octave. This will be like our pad button. Then we'll set the low shelf to 80 hertz, the high shelf to 12k, and deactivate all but two remaining, which will be our low mid and high mid. We'll set those to 400 and 2k. Now we'll save this as a preset so we can call it up whenever we want. Now let's see how this looks on a different EQ plugin, the Waves Q6. Here we'll activate five of the bands. We'll select high pass for the lowest one and set it to 75. This will be our pad button. Notice on this one there is no slope to set. We'll select a low shelf for our low and set it to 80. High shelf for our high and set it for 12K, leaving the two mid-range band pass, which we'll set to 400 and 2K. Before I say this is a preset, I'm going to make a small boost at 80. I'm going to make a small cut at 400 where the muddy range is. I'm going to make a small boost at the 2K range and a small boost at 12K. Uh, these are fairly typical enhancements and you'll see in just a second how much this can make a difference. And now we'll save it as a preset so we can call it back later. Why would we do all this, you might ask? Well, while at first this seems like it's restrictive compared to the seven or 10 bands you started with, it covers the four areas where the instruments really stand out. The kick and bass are hitting between 50 hertz and 120 hertz with a lot of energy around 400 hertz that you may want to cut a little for a cleaner mix. The meat of a vocal is around 1K and guitars pop out around 2K with upper information around four and 8K and your vocal air and hi-hats will be in the 10K and 12K range. Not to mention that having less choices will keep you from endlessly tweaking and allow you to make creative decisions more quickly. Let's take a quick look at what typical tweaks to this set of ranges would sound like on a mix. I've picked something that you'll be familiar with and will A-B it to hear how this pretty simple EQ setting can make this mix pop. Subtle, but if you listen to it a couple times, you'll hear that the enhanced version has a little more energy. Thanks for watching.